Hello everybody, Jim here to talk about the very soon to be released Drake Dragonfly and the contest that was recently centered around it. Let's start with the original description. This has changed over time, but when I first learned about the Dragonfly, it was going to be, and I quote, the closest thing to strapping an engine and weapons mount onto your spacesuit, and you wouldn't so much climb into it as put it on around you. Because of these words, I first imagined something like this. Or, if I was very lucky, this. Then I read that it would occupy the space between a snub fighter and the Aurora, which suggests to me that it would be pretty big, possibly something like an exosuit. And that made me even more excited. But, in the time since the initial post, it has gone from a strap-on ship to a space motorcycle, which is also extremely cool. Now, there have been several space motorcycles that I've fallen in love with over the course of my geekhood. There was the Scooty Puff Jr., the Scooty Puff Sr., the Doombringer, and Lobo's fantastically awesome ride, which I first saw in the 1990s animated Superman series. If we get any of these, even Scooty Puff Jr., I will be very happy. But what I think we'll end up with is something that fits a little better with the pantheon of Star Citizen ships, and is a little less interesting. Though I really hope I'm wrong. CIG has surprised me before. So, here is my entry to the Ben Lesnick Bad Drawing Competition. The rules stated that you must use a fat-tipped marker on paper or in MS Paint, and if it looked good, it would be disqualified. <laughs> I think my art speaks for itself. So, you can clearly see that this does occupy the space between a snub fighter and an Aurora. Like other Drake ships, it's simple, and it has more weaponry than one might expect from a ship in this size and price range. Those are sucker punch distortion cannons on the tiny non-functional wings, giving you the ability to take down most ship's shields. And on the belly is a pyroburst plasma scatter gun, so once their shield's down, you can blow them to smithereens. The rider slash pilot is in a crotch rocket seating position, so he or she will fly face first into danger. My Dragonfly is crazy fast in a straight line, but not terribly maneuverable at high speeds, and the shielding is light. Still, you should be able to lay down some serious punishment. I don't see any problems with taking down larger ships, like... A Hornet! Or, or a Constellation! Or a Starfarer! Or an Idris! It is unstoppable! I will own the void! Whoa, whoa. Slow down there, cowboy. I will not! No, no, think about this for a second. The Dragonfly is not made to work slow, though. I don't think it'll have a jump drive. It may not even have a quantum drive. You're going to need other ships, probably Drake, for support. Wait, are you saying I'm going to be able to launch my Dragonfly from a compass? No, that's not what I was saying at all. Yeah, best ship ever! No, oh, for crying out loud, don't listen to that idiot. We'll find out what it is tomorrow, if it hasn't already been shown off on Around the Verse while this was uploading. Yeah! Oh, what a moron. Uh, thanks to everybody for watching, subscribing, and commenting. I should be back tomorrow to cover the Dragonfly release. Yeah! Oh, you idiot. See you next time.